Creed's Pastor Aaron's and um, the minister that is in charge today God bless you the wife of Pastor Aaron's God bless you Sister Aaron's and everybody in their respective places God bless you Wonderful Jesus.
at your neighbor and say he's able. No, you touch your wrong neighbor. You look at the neighbor on the other side and say he's able. I don't think somebody got it yet. Look at your neighbor square in the face and say. to not come back to this assembly but you're planning to leave God 
Elisha. I did not have that written down. But I want to remind you. He is able. Yes. Those sicknesses that you've been going through. Nobody knows exactly what it is. But he is able. Keep pressing. Don't give up on God. You see, the thing is, he's able to do exceedingly. That means it's passing, it's surpass what you can think. Whatever you can imagine. God is more than that. He's able to do just what he said he will do. And he's going to fulfill every promise. Every promise. Every promise. I know, I know, I know, I know you've been waiting. I know it is that you've cried unto God. And I know you've been getting weary. But the book, the book tells us not to be weary in well-doing. Because in due season, you're going to reap Hashemah. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I think somebody's receiving that right now. You see, the season farmers will tell you, and I, and I think Pastor Aaron's, he knows a lot in agriculture, and pastors and, 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 and farmers will tell you that when they grow, when they plant a crop, after a certain amount of period, it's expected to bear whether it be fruit or grow, or it's going to come in the ground or whatever it is. But it's going to come forth after a time. But per adventure, your season might have just gone over a little longer. Your due season is coming if you fail not. God's able. Ah, God, I want to go somewhere, but He's able. I don't know what it is exactly that you're going through, but God's able. That's the word that I have gotten to give to you today. He's able. When you look at the definition for able, it says having the power, the skill, the means or opportunity to do something. You don't when it comes to God, you don't even need an opportunity because He is able, He's already gotten the power. Yes, yes. That's true. Oh God. You see, we, 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 we live in a world that has mighty engines. We have yeah. uh, all kind of different equipment. We have, we have, for example, we have a freight train and it is able to pull cargoes a mile long. We, 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 we have, fa we have um, these engines. We have fast race cars that are able to go how much hundred miles per hour yeah. and we have these airplanes that are able to lift hundreds of passengers yeah. along with their cargoes oh, and we've got all these these different sophisticated scientific um, Equipment that will, 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 will take things into space. Yes. But God's able. Yeah. Yeah. Humans have often think that they could they understand what power is. But until you've really gotten the inside of God, oh Lord, oh Lord. then you truly 
don't know what power is. You see, you, when you start understanding God, it starts to bother the mind because you just can't understand it. You, 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 you see, I've heard Minister Skinner testify of his bills while he was sick. And the last time he spoke of it, he said, God dropped a bomb in it. He's able. He's able. He's able. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. I promise you, I won't be long. I've given the old word already. He's able. Oh, yes. I just want to show you a little bit of what God's able to do. You see, the first time God showed up in his power was he spoke to Abraham and he told him that he will make him a father of many nations. Yes. It took a while. It took a while. Yes. It took a while. It took a while. You see, there's something that when you read and you start to understand the Bible, there are things that God reveals to you and you start to understand things more, even though stuff gets hard, but yes. you start to understand stuff some more. And I want to show you this. Um, in Paul, in one of Paul's writing, he said, I will not have you to be ignorant. Amen. You see, it tells us that a thousand Years is like a day in God's sight. Watch this. No man has ever lived a day in God's sight. Methuselah lived the longest 969 years. Has never lived a day in God's sight. So now we suffer our persecution 365 days. And we're ready to give up on God. Don't give up on God. You've never lived a full day in God's sight. You've been carrying on 10 years with some issues. You've been going on 20 years with some issues. You've been going a day with some issues and you want to give up on God. But God is able oh, yes. to keep that which he, he has committed unto himself. He's able. He's able. Oh yes. What can God do? He's able to completely save us. Hebrews 7 and 25. Wherefore he is able also to save them that is utmost that come unto God by him. He's able to save you. God is able to keep you yes. from sin. Oh yes. You said that's not true. Mm -hmm. yes, if you read the book of Jude and you go down to the 24th Enough. verse, yes. it will tell you now unto him that is able, able to, keep to keep you from falling. So oh, so far less oh, that is saying that he's able yes. to keep you from you know, falling. Fall into it. God is able. Amen. I, I, I heard yes. Sister Bryson spoke last week and he said, If you are in me, yes. you're the branches, and if you abide yes. in him, yes. then that means that you have that ableness. Yes. My hands hurt. Okay. You, uh -oh. God is able Amen. to heal. Amen. God is God is able to heal. It doesn't matter what your sickness is. 
It doesn't matter what the doctor said. Yes. It doesn't matter what your friends have told you. Yes. God is able Amen. to do it. Yes. You see, this what proof do you have? If you ask the woman with an issue of blood, yes. come on, preacher, come on. she will tell you that she waited some time. Yeah. She will tell you that she had some crown that she had to press through. Yes. She will tell you that it was hard. Oh, yes. She will tell you that she had spent all she had seeking physicians, yes. just like some of us are doing today. Instead, all we need to do is look to God. Yes. Because he's able. Amen. If you ask the man with the withered hand, oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hallelujah. He'll tell you. If you ask the guys that had their dead friends, saw the crowd, could not get in, Convention going on, Pastor. The crowd is tough. They can't get in. They set up ladders and they climbed. Why? Because they need something from God. What effort are you putting into what you need from God? What are you doing to enhance God? Uh, what are you doing to attract God to you? I heard Sister Rosa this morning and she was saying your prior life is what will help you. Your prior life fasting and praying, petitioning God, sending up favors uh, sweet smelling savor unto God. He's able. There was a, a captain that his daughter was sick and yes. mm -hmm. he, he, he exercised faith. Mm -hmm. He went to Jesus and he said, listen, my daughter is home and she's sick. Uh, I, I need your help. Yes. Oh, God Almighty. He understood he didn't have to go to a doctor. He went straight to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Who are you going, going to when you're going through your situation? Yeah. Who are you going to yeah. when you're going through, you're going through? Oh, Lord. He, he said to Jesus, listen, I'm a captain, I'm a great man. And I speak to all these guys and they listen to what I say. How much more you you are the God. I want you to speak the word. Somebody right now, just touch yourself and say, He's able to do what He's promised to do for me. I don't think you believe that. I want you to say it again. He's able to do what He's promised to do for me. He's able. He's able to keep you from all diseases. Do you know that when the children of Israel they were in Egypt and things were happening the Lord said to them that none of these plagues the things that are happening outside the world he said to them none of them will I put on you because you're my people you're mine and if you're mine I will take care of you peradventure you've not yet gotten the Holy Ghost and you're not yet inside the church there was a woman she went to look food and bright Jesus brother Jesus said to her the children's food I can't give to dog 
some of you been coming to the altar for a long time. You, know? you did not get the Holy Ghost when you first come. You are afraid to come to the altar much more. You've condemned yourself so much as a sinner. Listen, we're all sinners saved by grace. It is the God and His grace why some of us can look good. Amen. If you had seen some of us before we got in, Paul said such for some of us and he called us some name if Pastor Aaron or myself should ever call you a dog or mongrel uh oh but such was some of us but we are washed don't condemn yourself in the state that you're in God is able to pull you from that state and to put you where he wants you God's able. God's able. You see, we can enjoy what we have in God. And I'm coming down shortly. King Asa of Judah, it was revealed to him. That the Lord goes through and through the earth and he looks and he searches for those who have their minds and their hearts on him. So you see, God wants to do some things in us. There are three secrets. I'm going to tell you them. One of them is your heart has got to be wholly his I'm, I, I did not say H. I, I meant with a W. Whole. Yes. Yes. All together. Jeremiah said, and when you seek me with your whole heart, you shall find me. Yes. Why is it that we're giving God half? Why is it that we're giving God the three quarters? Why is it that we're afraid to give God our all? You will not get what you want from God. Sorry. You've got to put your heart and your mind in it. So when, you, when, when God has got full control of your heart, then you'll start answering Him. There's another one that Brother Isaiah, he, 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 he dedicated a whole chapter to this one. In the book of Isaiah chapter, uh, chapter 40. The secondary thing that we've got to do is that we've got to wait. Amen. Have you not heard? Have you not been told to you that the everlasting Father... He changed not. Neither does he go weary. There's no search of him. It's on a Come on. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as he. Wait. Mm. David said it. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. I see. Yes. Be of good courage. And then you will. And he strengthen. shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I see. On the Lord. The third key is your faith. Is there anything too hard? I bet you don't remember Pastor Aaron's preach that last year. Is there anything too hard for God? 
I started off talking about Abraham. After it is that the angel came and spoke to his wife. She laughed. Went to the, no, understand this. These were not young people, so the odds were against, against them. Oh, no. So some of us think that the odds are against us. I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm not fully qualified. Uh, I did not attend certain institution. Uh, I did not go to Bible school. Uh, we, we have all that I did not, or I can't this, or I can't that because of. But. God is able. Amen. Oh God. You see, you don't have to go to an agar. You don't have to sin. You see, you don't have to create trouble. Because when you go outside of God, all you're doing is creating trouble. Understand this. When Abram's son did come. He was a humble young man. He was old enough to understand this. The father told him that we're going yonder. yonder. Yes. We're going to worship God. Yes. He was going to be a sacrifice. So that had to be something hard for Abraham. Yet he obeyed God. And that is the problem that is in Christendom today. Nobody wants to obey. And if the pastor Elf says something Lord. and you can't find it Elf in the Bible, Lord. you're cursing. All right now. All right now. Okay. Help us, Lord. I hear Paul tell some of the folks, it's because I'm jealous for your soul. Don't curse the pastor. God don't know stuff in him just like he did in the time of Moses. And uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you see the prophets of old God spoke to his people through them Come on now. why is it that we think that God can talk through us to us we don't need the past anymore what? I'll tell you this there is no possible way hmm. You can be on the same level that the pastor is on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I drop sudden. <laughs> there is no possible way you can be on the same level that the pastor is on. Amen. Then might as well you be the pastor. <laughs> God's able. God's able. So here is Brother Abram taking his son and he had some servants with him and they're going up to worship. And what happened is this though not everybody can understand the glory of God. I get to understand that in the fasting service, the thing was to come up a little higher. All right now. Good. There was a, there, there, there was some fasting going on here. Two weeks of fasting at the start of this year right. was held here, and the the, the, the the theme was basically to come up higher. Watch this. Not everybody past the errands is able to come up. Abram had to leave. Hold on. The servants down there, they were going to worship. And he said, I and the lad will go yonder to worship. Going to yonder is sacrifice. Going to yonder is hardship, hard time. Here come humble. He said, I said, I said Pops. I see some stuff going on here. We have the wood. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Uh, we have the altar. Yes. Uh, daddy. You, you, you even have the knife for the sacrifice. 
you are the sacrifice <sighs> don't worry my son you've been worried you, you're looking at everything around you you're seeing all the negatives around you and all the odds seem to be against you. God's able. God is able to provide himself. Oh God. Hallelujah. You see, there's a song that we used to sing, you don't have to slay in the lamb in the morning. You don't have to put any blood on the door. Jesus has taken the place of the Lamb. He is the great I am. You don't have to worry like you're worrying. You don't have to cry like you're crying. All you need to do is put it to Jesus. There's a song that says, Oh, a needless pain to me. Oh, because you do not take it. Yes, he knows. Yes. He knows what you're going through. Yes. But he wants you to put it to him. Yes. He wants you to tell him. He did tell us to cast your cares upon me. Because I care. Jesus. He didn't tell you to look to man because guess what? He also did say that vain is the help of man. But he told us to put it to him. The problem that most of us have is that it's this disillusion that I've come to Brother Timmy. Brother Timmy has failed me. I call Brother O'Shane and Brother O'Shane has failed me. I called Sister Rosa and Sister Rosa said, Brother Kirk, I can't. I called Pastor Aaron's and Pastor said, Boy, I only wish I could. Uh, I called a good friend of mine. I even called some family. Uh, got so confused that I'm even calling my enemies. Uh, and we mistakenly put God in that category. We mistakenly put God in the category of He won't come through. We're forgetting that He's the all-powerful God. He can do what He wants to do at His own will. You start to question so now I've come to God. I'm a, I was a sinner. Now I've come to God. And before we give God our heart, we start to wonder uh, can He really do it? Can He really keep me? You see, I, I, used, to, I used to do some stuff that would get me money. I, I, I used to have money coming in very. Frequently. That's right. uh, now that I'm in God, what am I going to do, Joshua? Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> so we start worrying and start fretting. Yeah. But God's able! Yes, God is able! Yes, God is able! If God tells you to do something, do it. God's able. If the musicians will just play softly. Understand this. With God, the odds are in your favor.
with God. The odds are in each and every one of your favor. It doesn't matter uh, what it is. There is nothing that is too hard for God. When, when Abram and Isaac were finished, uh, and God did provide Himself a ram. the bush before they left Mount Moran